You're not kidding. That's how you have to sit down? <laughs> it's tricky, because, um... No, now, when do you do? I have another month. You have another <sighs> month? I'm with you. Believe it... me, I have to, like, sleep and now... wake up with this every day. <laughs> what is... I can't even imagine. <clears throat> uh, now, is it a boy or a girl? Do you it's know? another boy. Another boy. Is that, yeah. what, is that what they say when the boy drops? Is that supposed to... Yeah, apparently he hasn't dropped yet. Really? That's that's pretty dropped so, to I'm me. With ya. I can't even this bend is... over. Putting my shoes on is interesting. Forget shaving the legs. That's uh. just out. And what about so how old is your other little boy? Yeah, Story is two and a half almost two and a half. Was he like He was that... even lower and more torpedo. Really? Wow. Yeah, I'm kind look of at, look yeah. at that precious little thing. Yes. Oh. Oh. That's beautiful. He's so that's, and is he happy? Him. Does he understand what's happening? Oh, Have yeah, you explained? Like, I don't know where he'll be like, he makes me like lift my shirt up or watching a movie or something. He puts his hand there and just taps it and then he'll lean over and just oh. give it a kiss and then, you know, keep watching Toy Story. That's, yeah. that's And then he door. rubs it. Oh, that's, well, because wait till it comes out. He's going to want it to go away. I know. Yeah. So I'm just enjoying the love now because right. I think I, who knows what's going to happen. Right. Is he a good little boy? Two and a half. That's a tough age. It's, you know, he's not terrible twos, but if he at all approaches hungry or tired, <laughs> and me being this pregnant and trying to physically, we had a melt, he's obsessed with trains. Mm -hmm. And like Choo Choo, like, you know, Thomas the Train, and I got him a whole train set for Christmas. And I was like, I'm gonna have just a mom-son morning with him and just take him out and go get a train. And you know, cause I'm trying to get him to sleep through the night, so I'm bribing him with trains. Um, and it's working. Uh huh. So fine, because when this baby comes, I can't have a kid that's not sleeping through the night. No. I can't have two; like, all my head will explode. So no, well, I um, should have thought of that before. But anyway, <laughs> so I take him to this really cool train shop, you know, and uh, and we're coming upon nap time, and he was so excited to go to see the trains he wasn't eating, so we're approaching tired and hungry, and lifting him up and all this is like really physically taxing for me. So I'm always trying to negotiate that. So it's like, he wanted the big train. I'm like, let's pick out your train for sleeping so good. And he wanted the big, like, 50 bucks, like, for one little thing. But it's, it's not the train set we have. It's like the adult thing. And I'm like, well, and he wants to pull it off the thing. I'm like, that's the display. And the guy who owns it, they're serious about their trains. You know, oh. they have, like, the kitty section, and they'd like you to stay there if you have a toddler. Mm -hmm. He's screaming. He wants to open the choo-choo that we finally picked out. I'm like, well, no, because then he's going to start playing with it. We'll never leave. Wait, you're not even in the car yet? No. <laughs> this is my big mother-son morning I, that I'm so looking forward to. I thought you were in the car. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so then the guy is like, um, I'm like, well, let's just, sorry, we, story, we gotta go, let's, we gotta go. And he's like, Wah! and the guy's like, he went from like so happy to see me when we walked in to like, good luck with that. <laughs> That's actually what he said. Uh -huh. And I'm like, thanks. <laughs> And I go outside, it's pouring rain, and I drop the book, the catalog thing, and I'm holding story, and I have to bend over, carrying my two and a half year old, pick it up. Then I go, and I'm trying to get him in the car seat. He won't go in the car seat. He's like arching his back, you know, like won't go in. Then my wallet falls out of my jacket into the flooding river curb <laughs> and starts floating down the street while I'm trying to get him in the car seat. I'm like sweating. My back is the first time my back is like gonna go out while I'm pregnant. And then I uh, finally got him in the car, and then I needed a Starbucks. Um, and and what, what the good news is, you're pregnant on the show, right? So yeah. that actually helps that what's going to happen once this is not uh, inside you anymore? I'll be so happy. Yeah, but then you'll still... <laughs> no. um, well, this, these two characters are now starting to form a relationship. They're uh, trying to keep it platonic, but, you know, they're living together for the kid, and they are hot for each other, so uh -huh. they started... He proposed. And oh. so we're going to try being a couple, and so we will now be getting to know each other and raising a child, uh -huh. and I'll get to get back to my pre-pregnancy body, which will be awesome. Well, you look awesome anyway. You look fantastic. Oh, thank you. But, um, <laughs> all right. If you don't mind, this is just for another month. This is uncomfortable as it is, and it's not like people don't notice it. It's the first thing, you know. Do you care that people touch you and stuff? Because no. that's what everybody wants to do. But no, because I have this world domination quest uh -huh. that I'm on. I admire that. And, thank you. And so um, I thought, uh, if you wouldn't mind doing us a favor, <laughs> um, we can just maybe. <laughs> that's hysterical. I love you so yeah. much. You are there. Fun. Love it. There. Look at that. That would help 
me a whole lot.